This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams not only marked the end of the week and the end of the first quarter of 2023, but also the end of the month that was best described as March Madness. March's stock market came in like a lion, but went out as a bull. For the month, the S&P 500 closed 3.5% higher, while the NASDAQ added almost 7% and the Dow jumped 1.89%. But it hasn't been a smooth ride. Stocks mounted a comeback in the latter part of March after the month began with the failure of two regional banks, a forced takeover of Credit Suisse, and a flight of deposits from smaller institutions. The government's backstop of the deposits of Silicon Valley, as well as Signature Bank, and the setup of a special lending facility for other banks helped to stem the crisis. The market got a boost Friday after the Fed's preferred inflation gauge showed a cooler than expected increase in prices. The Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Index, the PCE, which excludes energy and food costs, only rose three-tenths of a percent in February, less than the four-tenths of a percent expected by economists. The overall market has done surprisingly well despite the banking crisis, simply because every day without a bank run instills more confidence that the worst may be over and the Fed and the FDIC will continue to stabilize the situation if more actions are needed. Now, the 10-year Treasury yield fell sharply from 4.06% on March 2nd to under 3.5% on Friday. Now, with bond yields falling, bond prices rallied and also provided support for the forward P.E. ratio of the S&P 500 and boosted the forward P.E.s of the megatech growth stocks that led the rally this month. March's stock market madness broke the brackets of most pessimists and stock market perma bears who have long expected a recession and predicted a bear market. For them, I have some bad news. April is coming. April is the second best month of the year for the stock market. From 1928 through 2022, the S&P 500 was up 1.4% on average during the month, second only to July's 1.7% average gain. So hopefully this rally will continue and the volatility ultimately will calm down. But once again, the markets have demonstrated that those who stay invested over the long run in a well-diversified portfolio will generally do better than those who try to profit from turning points in the market. So for now, my advice is to continue to trust, but diversify. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have over 70 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation of your portfolio, all you need to do is text or call right now, 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.